Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dads Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad. Back again to do another beer review. It's my final review of the day. Been waking up to this one and it is a collaboration uh, with, with Vocation and Amundsen. And it is their Imperial Frappe. There it is. And this is, <coughs> excuse me, is a coffee, chocolate and salted caramel Imperial Stout. And it's bourbon barrel aged. It says that there. There it is. It is a massive... 12% ABV, as it says so there. Um, best before on this one is the 4th... Oh, sorry, best, yeah, best before this was the 14th of the 7th, 21. So it's probably canned around the 14th of the 7th this year. It says on the back, Imperial Frappe, coffee, 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 chocolate and salted caramel. It says a collaboration between Vocation and Amundsen. This bourbon bottled Imperial blends a uh, premium Antonia and Panasar coffee. Rich dark chocolate uh, and smooth salted caramel into a complex and seductive full-bodied stout, best enjoyed slowly. It says that there. Nice can. We've got the Vocation logo there. We've got the Amundsen Eagle, ish there as well. So yeah, it looks cool. It looks cool. So let's pop a top and let's see what we've got. <coughs> I do like Imperial Stouts. I do like bourbon, battle-aged Imperial Stouts. So I'm hopefully this is going to be something a little bit good. I've seen pictures of, this, pictures of it all over the internet. Pictures of it on Facebook in various beer groups. Um, and it looks brilliant. It really does look brilliant. And that is no joke. That looks brilliant. It really does look good. So being the last one we've got. Got a finger of... Rapidly dispersing, tan coloured head, dark tan coloured head, very small, tightly compact bubbles. As you can see, beer is jet black. We've got a little bit of carbonation clinging in patches across the across the uh, the glass, but it you just can't see anything through it, can you really? Let's be honest. It looks absolutely delicious. So, without further ado, let's get a nose and let's see what we can smell. Ooh. Everything that you're getting on the says on the can, you're getting dark chocolate, you're getting coffee, you're getting roasted malt. A little bit of bourbon battle does come through. It's uh, there's a sweetness to it. It's like a vanilla, a toffee, a caramel, demerara sugar type thing. It's like that's the, the previous one, the sweet temptation, with the coffee added to it and a little bit of booze. Smells brilliant. So. Let's go for the body and carbonation. Cheers. Oh, my days. Right, that is thick. It's sweet. It's velvety. And the carbonation is really light. This is going to go down a treat, I can guarantee it. But I've got to save some. So I'm not going to drink the whole lot on camera. So let's go for the big taste. Cheers. Sweet chocolate to begin with. A little bit of coffee, coffee here and there, but a lot of there's a lot of there is caramel. Um, there's toffee, there's burnt sugar, there's demerara sugar, brown sugar. There's all oh, it's really it sweet, but for me it's not too sweet. I um, as that kind of fades, you're left with a, a, a roasted malt, a finish, but then the bourbon comes in and you catch the bourbon, gets it right at the back of the throat. But the sweetness is still lingering around. Oh, it's stunningly good. Oh, it's just, it's great. Toffee, coffee. It tastes like a, a frappuccino, only boozy. It's excellent. It is excellent. This is another one of the beers that's going to go down for me for beer of the year. I am. Um, it is that good. It really is that good. I am tempted to go and buy a few more of these off the website. It's that good. You wouldn't know it was 12%. Wouldn't know it at all. It's almost milkshake. 
inconsistency. I say it's it's yeah. thick and heavy, but it's silky smooth. Oh, it's absolutely stunning. It's stunning. <sighs> what a drink. It takes every box for me for an, for an Imperial. Mm. Yeah, it's just brilliant. It does everything it says on the tin is what you get. And then you get and you get more. If I was rating a beer, I'd say it's a 10 out of 10 beer, but I don't rate them. But I know this beer makes me happy. This beer makes me want to go and get more. And that's a great thing. So I'm going to wrap this review up. Mm. I want to go and sit in there, watch the TV, finish that off and let the good lady have a crack. See mm. what she thinks. So... Vocation and Amundsen Imperial Frappe. That is a coffee, chocolate, and salted caramel Imperial Stout. Bourbon barrel aged. It's got everything that I want from this from a, from an Imperial Stout. Do I like it? God damn it, yes. It's beautiful. Would I buy it again? Yes. I'm gonna buy some more of these. I am and would I recommend it to friends? Yes. Without a shadow of a doubt. This is excellent for me. Admittedly, it's not, it may not be everyone's cup of tea. These are just my opinions. But for me, this is a quality, quality drink. They've done a really good job with this. So if you've had this, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will link the Vocation website where this is still up for sale. Um, if you like the video, give me the thumbs up. If you like the video, give me the thumbs down. Subscribe down there, the usual caper. That, I'm keeping on that count to remind me that it's one of the beer of the year. Beers, potentially. And I will uh, see you on the next one. Stay safe, stay alert, and hail the air.